Alright guys, Jeremy here with Tech Fix. Coming at you with a Vortex Crossfire Red Dot. Now this is a pretty new offering from Vortex. They just put it out as of this last SHOT Show, so I'm glad to get my hands on it here. Now there's a couple really cool things about this Red Dot that I really, really like. First thing you're probably noticing just from the box view is this looks almost exactly like an Aimpoint T1. And I think that's by design. This is a very popular design. It's good for getting really low mount on your rifle or on a handgun. And uh, I think this is a really good design. I'm glad that Vortex came out with something like this. So what I want to do today, I'm going to do a little unboxing for you, show you what comes with it. Um, I already have peeked in there, so you'll notice some of the packaging is gone. Um, but I will make sure that you guys get to see everything that comes in this box other than you know, some plastic baggies, who really cares about those? Um, first, we're gonna go over a few really neat specs about this that I really, really like. Um, some of the specs that I saw on this, it is nitrogen purged and is uh, has just excellent O-ring sealing on here. So it's gonna be waterproof, it's gonna be fog proof. It's also got an outstanding, in my opinion, aluminum shell, so it is shock proof and all the lenses are coated, so they're gonna be great in low light situations. Um, this is, of course, like most red dots, it's parallax free. Um, it does run off of a pretty typical for this form factor, CR2032 battery. Um, this particular model does come with a very, very bright, in my opinion, two MOA dot. So this is gonna be good both for up close and personal CQC stuff, and it's gonna be great for some mid-range stuff. So you're gonna have some precision so you can get out to those mid-ranges. A um, Couple other really cool just specs about it. Um, we've got length width, this 5.2 ounces. It is, it is light, guys. It's very, very light. Um, it's also got, in my opinion, great battery life. Um, it's not quite as much as the aim point. Obviously, it's, it's not gonna last as long on there. Um, aim point does still have them beat on that. It does still, though, last on medium setting, 7,000 hours. That's pretty good. I mean, as cheap as these CR2032 batteries are, I am not at all put off by the lower battery run time. Um, one really cool thing about this is it does come with a different, couple different mounting options. It comes with a low mount, which is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be mounting this to my AK. It also comes with a lower th one-third co-witness. In my opinion, that's a little bit too high for my AK, so I'm not going with that one. But if you're running an AR and you want to put this on there, that lower one-third co-witness is going to be great. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what comes in this box. First thing we've got here, always got to have the literature. This one's going to go over some of the different features. Goes over battery life that we already talked about. Definitely want to pay attention to the windage and elevation adjustments because these are typically going to be individual to the optic you're looking at. So it is going to vary a little bit how many clicks you need to do to go right to left, which direction you're turning it. Um, it's all pretty standard, but there is a little bit of variation from manufacturer to manufacturer. So you want to make sure all of that's good. And uh, one of the things that I really love about Vortex is their VIP warranty. Guys, this is in my opinion, one of the best companies that you can buy an optic from. As you can see, rest assured that in the event that your red cut becomes damaged or defective, we will repair or replace the binocular at no charge to you. The other thing I love about this is this warranty is fully transferable. You do not have to be the original owner. If I get this as a gift and then I pass it down to my son, that warranty goes on to him. Or in my case, hopefully one of my two daughters inherits this. So this this is a great investment for your money. I have actually never seen Vortex do anything but be 100% stand up about their warranty. Um, I know one person personally who has exchange on a warranty. One of the um, mount options cracked on him. They sent him a brand new one. He told him what one they had. He showed him proof of purchase. They sent it right out to him. It was that easy. So they, guys, they really do stand behind their warranty. This is a great company, and I have no reservations about buying products from them. The next thing that's gonna come in the box is obviously you got a little cleaning cloth. Um, actually, it looks like a pretty good quality one too. You know, this is nicer than the ones that came with my, uh, my prescription glasses and sunglasses that I paid quite a bit more 
for than I paid for this optic. So good on Vortex for giving you a good one. They've got a little Allen key to mount it to your gun. Comes with a battery. I've already got that installed. As I said, I couldn't wait, guys. I peeked at it. Uh, I've already got the battery installed here. Installing your battery is super, super easy. Um, some optics come with a little key. This one, a, you know, an American Quarter fits great in there. I just use that to, to get into the battery compartment. Uh, battery is mounted with the writing on the CR2032 facing up. So that's already all done. Comes with an extra set of screws. These are going to come in handy because I don't know about you guys, but I always lose one of these little things. So it's good they included a whole extra set for you. You definitely didn't have to do that, but that's a nice little touch. And here we see the two different little mounting options. We've got the lower one-third co-witness, and then on here, because like I said, I'm putting it on my AK, so we've got the low mount on here. That's the one that I'm going to stick with. And the optic comes, you know, to keep your glass looking good, comes with a set of bikini caps. So that's always good. And as we can see here, this, obviously this doesn't aid at all on the function of the, the optic here, but just look at the graphics on that. that. That looks pretty awesome in my opinion. I do really like the little attention to detail they've got on here. And you know what? I know the industry loves their aim points, they love their, their ACOGs, and uh, they love their EOTechs, but you know, if I'm comparing this to the Aimpoint T1, I think this is pretty darn sexy. I like this one. And with a price tag that is, last I check, about a third of what you what you will pay for that aim point, I think this is a great option. I um you know if this one holds up as well as I think it will. I have another Vortex that's been great for, for the last two years that I've owned it. I think this one is gonna perform well enough that I don't think I'd need to invest in an aim point. Maybe it will in the future, we'll see. But uh, like I said, super rugged aluminum body. Everything looks great on this. You've got your windage, you've got your elevation adjustments, and you've got your brightness settings. Now this one does come with a lot of different options. You can set it all the way from off, which is your zero setting, all the way up through 11 different brightness settings. So you can get that as bright as you want. And like the instructions said that this number six setting, that's going to give you the 7,000 hours of battery life. So that's kind of what they set the standard on. You go brighter, it's going to last a little bit less. But, um, I, you know, I like to keep mine about nine, you know, from when I was using this and just kind of looking through it. I have not taken this out to the range yet, so we're going to see that next. But uh, I think I'm going to like that number nine setting. So I think that's that's where I'll try it out first. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna get it mounted up to my AK, and then I'm gonna come show you what it looks like on my AK. See you in just a minute, guys. All right, guys, I am back. This is my AK. I've got the new Crossfire all mounted up, so everything is ready to go. Now, one thing you wanna know about mounting one of these optics is whenever you get this onto your Picatinny rail, what you want to do is you want to slide it onto the rail into one of your grooves, into one of the rail sections, and then push it all the way forward and then tighten her down. You want to make sure it is all the way forward so it can't shift back and forth. Pushing it forward, these optics are made to hug against the front portion of the cutout section in your rail. So you want to make sure you've slid that all the way forward. But this is the application that I'm putting this into use on. I thought this would be a great optic, being it is how it is so low onto the rail here. Because um, the AK really, in my opinion, it just does not do well with a real tall optic like the AR does. So I really like the way this is mounting up. Uh, I'm going to do another video coming up here soon showing off my AK. So you guys can see a little bit about this. This is one that I did put together myself. So this is starting from a completely blank receiver. I've riveted this all together myself, put everything together. It is looking a little rough. I have not Cerakoted this yet, but that is next on the agenda. So I'll be sure to put up cool pictures once we get that done so you can see the kind of paint job I'm going with. Um, and in the video where I show that off and go into the new paint job, I'll go over more of the features of how I put this rifle together and what I was going for with my build here. 
Um, but now that we've got this all mounted up, we're ready to fire. We're gonna go ahead and take it out to the range. We're gonna get it sighted in and then give her some test fire and see how she does, see how she holds up. All right, see you in just a minute. It took me a few days to get out to the range, but once I did, I have to say this red dot is a pleasure to shoot with. There are a lot of optics out on the market with fuzzy dots that can make it extremely difficult to accurately acquire a target. Not so with the Vortex Crossfire Red Dot. This is an exceptionally bright, crisp 2MOA dot. I had no trouble picking up any of the targets and accurately placing shots out to the length of the range. I was not able to dial in the 5200 Battle Zero that I would have liked to, as the local indoor ranges in this area, they pretty much limit you to 25 yards. That'll have to wait for another day. After a small amount of plinking, I set in to zero the sight. One of the big things that I loved about this sight are the adjustment knobs. There wasn't a hint of slop or play in the knobs. Each click was a very solid, positive click that took all of the guesswork out of adjusting the wind and elevation. Each small click will move the point of impact one minute of angle. For a brief primer, one minute of angle is equal to roughly one inch at 100 yards, half an inch at 50 yards, and a quarter inch at 25 yards, and so on. So for example, at the 50 yard sight in distance, it would take 12 clicks of the dial to move the bullet's point of impact six inches. At the end of the day, once everything was sighted in, and I did a bit more shooting, I ended up very pleased with this optics performance. I have to say that grouping isn't too shabby. Alright, so here's a quick rundown of the pros and cons as I see them. Pros. Like I said, there's very solid of positive clicks on the brightness, windage, and elevation knobs. They really have a great tactile feel, and there's also a slight audible click that you can hear. The dot itself, very crisp, very bright. It's a 2MOA dot, which is perfect for most applications. It does come with the two mounts. You've got the lower one-third co-witness, and you've got the low mount. Obviously, I had the low mount on my AK here. It was great, rock solid. The screw on it comes with the t10 wrench that you need to tighten it and everything really goes together very well you can definitely tell it's a very well engineered product of course like with all optics from vortex no questions asked lifetime guarantee that's a big thing it's huge guys i'm not aware of many other companies that offer anything close to that especially at this price point if you're getting an aim point if you're getting an eo tech they have great warranties too but the price tag for that price tag, they should have a great warranty. Vortex is a much more cost-effective option, and you're still getting that great customer service from them. I'm also not the only one that's really hyping Vortex right now. They are really known for having a reputation of putting out great products. Um, they're they're just they're an impeccable company to deal with. I've talked to them on customer service on the phone, just answering questions, things like that, and they are great. I, I, it's a pleasure calling them. Unlike a lot of call centers, you're getting directly to someone who works for the company. They are very pleasant to deal with. They answer all your questions absolutely fantastically, and they just their reputation is great, guys. Um, back to the optic, though. This one does have a 7,000 hour battery life at medium setting. I think that's really good. It's not the best out there. There are other ones like the equivalent here, the Aimpoint T1 is going to have a much longer battery life. The Gen 1 and I believe also the Gen 2 of the Aimpoint Micro T1, they sit around the 50,000 hour lifespan. Of course, you're paying three to four times amount for that optic, so I would expect the battery to last a little bit longer. I would expect it to have better electronic components. I would expect it to be more durable, more rugged. But at this price point, 150 bucks, you really can't complain about that battery life. I think it's pretty darn awesome. You know, I, I would much rather not spend the three or four times for the other optic and just replace the battery. I mean, they're a dollar, a dollar fifty on Amazon. Just replace the battery. Also, you've got the nitrogen purged housing. You've got great O-ring sealing. You've got the coating on the lenses. So this is waterproof. This is fog proof. It's going to be great in low light scenarios. All around, this is just a fantastic optic. 
for the cons, you know, I always try and look and nitpick a little bit so we know kind of where it fails, you know, where does it fall short of expectations, but there really wasn't much to say about this optic in, in the way of cons. Um, just a few things I did think about. There is no auto shutoff feature, kind of something I would like to have. The aim points, uh, I believe a lot of the EO techs do have those as well. Not a deal breaker for me. I mean, it's it's a nice feature to have. It's not something that I have to have, but it is nice. The brightness dial does only turn one way, so when I've got it all the way up to 11, turning it up to 11, I can't go right back to zero. I gotta rotate that dial all the way back through. Again, very, very minor thing. I mean, that, you're really nitpicking to get to that. And the bikini caps, they could be a little bit more sturdy. Uh, mine are a little loose. They, they kinda came that way. Not the biggest deal. Again, given the price point, you can buy nicer bikini caps if you're really that bugged by it. But mine stay on just fine. They're a little loose. I'd like them tighter, but again, not a big deal. So really, all in all, this optic is a win for me. I would definitely buy it again in hindsight. I, I love it on my AK. It's working out great. Like I said, I've taken this out to the range a couple of times, both shooting the video and after. And it's just, it's really been a rock solid performer. So definitely check that out. Check out my links below the video and on my blog. You can find this on Amazon. You can also get it directly from Vortex. Get it at Brownells, all the regular retailers. I'm gonna have a few links with some, so you can check different prices on this. Um, guys, this is really, if you're at all on the fence or you've never had a Vortex optic, I can't suggest them highly enough. There are just fantastic products. I've owned two, this is the second one I've owned, and I would not give up either of them. They are fantastic. And if you guys have any questions, definitely leave those in the comments. Also, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. It does help this channel grow, and it helps you learn about when new videos come out. So definitely take a look at that. You can check us out on Facebook and Instagram at TacFixBlog. You can also check us out on GunStreamer and on YouTube at TacFix. And as always, check out the blog as well.